Hi, this is Virgo the Oracle, and I'm here to do a reading for the sign of Virgo. Hey, Virgo, how are you? Let's tap into this energy like we always do. See if it changed. See if it stayed the same. Spirit come through. Can I have some messages for Virgo? Virgos, I hope you had a wonderful weekend, and I hope you have an even better week. Let's tap into this energy. Spirit come through. Thank you so much for your beautiful comments, your beautiful donations. Thank you so much for riding with me. Okay. Speaking of beautiful donations, thank you, Heather. Shout out to Heather. Spirit come through. Can I have some messages, please, for Virgo? Virgo. What messages do you have for Virgo, my earthbenders? Come through. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. First position you have is the Nine of Pentacles. Okay. Mm-hmm. The Hermit. The Three of Wands. The Justice. Three of Swords. Six of Cups. Okay. All right, then. Well, not bad. Mm-hmm. Not bad at all. Let me line that up so you guys can see it. Excuse, just die on my hand. I dyed my hair. We have the devil. Okay. We have the page of swords. We have the magician. We have the high priestess. We have the ten of cups. And we have the hierophant. Okay. All right. Okay, not bad, not bad. All right, mm -hmm. we have one, two, three, four, five, six, six major arcanas. Okay, we will definitely take it. All right, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. all right, Ooh, we got the food card, seven major arcanas. Okay, you got the fool. First start, new beginning. Mm. Some of you guys are ready to start over. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You ready to just pick up and take off? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, some of you ready to move. Okay. Some of you just want to pick up and disappear. Lord, Lord, Lord. <laughs> some of you don't want to let nobody know nothing. You just want to just disappear. Yeah, some of you want to relocate. You just want to move. You want to take off. You want something different. You want to take the risk. Take a risk and try something different. Try something new. Some new beginning. Some fresh start. Ooh, it's going to be a good move, too. Whatever it is that you guys are working on, whatever it is that you guys are thinking about, whatever fresh start, new beginning, whatever risk you're thinking about taking is definitely going to pay off, okay? You got the sun card. You're going to be very happy. You're going to be very pleased, okay? This is healing. This is happiness. This is joy, wish fulfillment, emotional fulfillment. It don't get no better than this. This is one of the most positive cards you can get out the deck, okay? Yeah, you got a commitment you're going to. Mm. Some of you about to start something new with somebody new, okay? Yeah. This person is going to make you extremely happy, all right? Some of you have already met somebody new, okay? With this fool card here, this is new energy. Mm -hmm. This is somebody that you're ready to take the risk or a risk with, or this is somebody that that you that you may feel is risky. Okay, but you can trust it. You can trust it. Look at that wonderful, wonderful. Ooh, baby, what a fortune. Okay, this is the good luck card. This will be a good move for you guys. Whoever, whatever this, whatever it is that you guys are working on. Okay, relocating, moving. Um, starting a new relationship, starting a new period, okay? Looks like you guys want to just take off, okay? And try something different, try something new. And it's going to pay off, okay? This is the good luck card. The will is turning in your favor. Some of you are going to be doing some traveling, okay? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Some of you are taking a trip, okay? Some of you are getting a new car. Ah, this is a very strong connection that you have with this person, okay? Mm-hmm. This could be familiar energy. Okay, somebody that you got a strong bond with. You guys are just ready to throw caution to the wind and have something together. You're ready to just try it out, okay? Come with May. You got the fool. You got the sun. And it's good. this risk that you're about to take with this person is definitely going to pay off. Let's see what's going on here. Okay. Mm, not bad. Okay, Nine of Pentacles and Hermit. Yeah, some of you have been single for a very long time. Doing what's best for you, focusing on you, okay? You've been waiting and waiting and waiting and waiting. Been doing a lot of waiting by yourself. Mm -hmm. You're single, you got it going on, yeah. 
Mm -hmm. Financially secure. Your money is right. Okay. Mm -hmm. You take care of yourself. You, you want a relationship, but you, you don't have to have one. It's not like, you know, you're stressing out. Some of you, some of you are stressing out, but some of you are not. Okay. If it come, it come. If it don't, it don't. Yeah. You just really just trying to do what's best for you. Okay. You're trying to be happy. You're trying to be whole. Okay. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. You've been waiting too. Some of you have endured a lot of mistreatment. Okay. Some of you have been enduring a lot of mistreatment. People talking to you dirty or treating you dirty or, and if they're not doing it now, they might have did it in the past. Okay. Uh huh. Uh huh. However you look at it, you're waiting for your your ships to come in. You're waiting for your look to change. You're waiting for things to get better for you. Okay, like I said, you could have been enduring a lot of mistreatment. Okay, a lot of disrespect. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yeah. Justice comes out to give karma on your behalf, okay? Cause, so somebody's touching some karma here, okay? Whoever these people were, okay? That you felt broke your heart, disappointed you in any in any shape, form, or fashion, okay? Could have been a lover, okay? Could have been a sister, brother, fa mother, father, chick or child. It could have been anybody that was supposed to love you. Very familiar energy, too. You got the six of cups. This is somebody that you've known for a very long time, okay? They broke your heart. They hurt your feelings, okay? They're catching some sort of karma for this, all right? You might even be getting an apology soon, Virgo, okay? This is going to be what you've been waiting for, too, okay? Yeah, it looks like you're waiting for things to improve for you. You're waiting for things to get better. You're waiting for somebody to treat you better, okay? Okay, if, you, if you're if you not going to get treated better by the person that you're waiting for um, to treat you better, then something else better is coming in for you. And however you look at it, you're waiting for it, okay? If this person don't treat you better, if justice don't grab a hold of this person and knock the shit out of them to make them do right by you, you're waiting for somebody else that's going to come in and do right by you, okay? You don't want any more of this energy here, this heartbreak, this disappointment, okay? Mm -mm. You don't want that, okay? You don't want any more in injustice treatment. Okay, people, you know, taking you for granted, taking you, taking your kindness for a weakness, lying to you, you know, gaslighting you, ghosting you. You just don't want any more of that energy, okay? And it's, and you're not going to get any more of that energy, yeah. Whoever this energy was, they were very familiar energy, but they was very toxic too. We have the devil card here, very unhealthy. You may feel this person was very unhealthy. You may feel that this person just wasn't good for you. This person could have caused you a great deal of stress, anxiety, or something like that, okay? Mm -hmm. You might have felt this was a very toxic relationship that you were in when it comes to this person. Very familiar energy, same soul, different body, okay? Yeah, but it's something about their energy is that you might feel is just not uh, not healthy, okay? Yeah, this worried you or stressed you out, okay? Mm -hmm. However you look at it, this person is keeping tabs on you. They're spying on you. They're watching you. Okay, looks like they're watching you manifest. You're in a manifesting energy right now, Virgo. You're highly intuitive too. Yeah, you're spiritually gifted. Okay, whatever you think about, you bring about. Mhm, mm mhm. Mm and what you want is a full-blown commitment. You got the Ten of Cups and the Hierophant. Okay, you're manifesting somebody to be there for you, 100%. It's all or nothing for you. Okay. And this person that you were attached to, you may look at them as the devil. Okay, you may feel that this person didn't know how to love you. They didn't love you. They didn't do right by you. They didn't treat you right. And you're manifesting what you want. You want something right. You want something better. You want something that's going to respect you. Something that's going to treat you with that justice energy, okay? Give you truth. Give you honesty. Give you love. Give you support, okay? Like I said, justice comes out when it's been some sort of injustice. Justice comes out to correct some shit. Okay, so if this person right here has been breaking your heart, disappointing you time and time again, you've been dealing with it for years, this is very familiar energy, you've known this person for a very long time. Okay, this could have been somebody that you was really into and they just didn't give you a commitment. Okay, you waited and waited and waited for this person to love you, to marry you. Some of you want marriage. The so justice card could also indicate marriage. Okay, it could also indicate divorce. 
Okay, some of you might want marriage. Some of you might want a divorce from this person. Okay, this person could be very toxic in many different ways where you feel that they're blocking you from moving forward. Okay, well, nothing is going to block you. Nothing is going to stop you. You're moving forward and you're going to get what you want. You're manifesting it. And what you want is somebody that you can trust. Somebody that's there for the long haul. Somebody to give you your ten of cups. Somebody that's in it for the long haul duration for the long haul hair fine okay that's that's some sort of long-term relationship or some sort of marriage okay mm -hmm, mm -hmm. yeah you want it you wanted it with this person but this person gave you everything but okay everything but okay they, all they offered you was a lot of heartache disappointment heartbreak okay but you're very self-assured, Virgo. Very confident in your skin. This is coming through in first position. Your last position is horrifying. You're going to get the commitment that you want, okay? You're not settling for nothing else. You will be very patient. You will wait patiently until you get what you want. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And if, if, if it's not with this... I don't think it's with this devil energy. I think you're finished with this devil energy. Because this was low vibrational energy. This was somebody had addictions. They drank a lot, smoked a lot, fuck a lot. They treated you like you didn't matter, disrespected you, you know, talked dirty to you. I think you I don't think this this is the energy that you want. Mm-mm. Uh-huh. Even this person is going to have to change, okay? Or uh uh, -uh. they're not gonna change. They devil energy and the next the devil page of swords. They gonna keep watching you with this little mean face. They gonna keep watching you. <laughs> they gonna keep watching you with this little bitter ass energy that they're in. Very toxic, okay? It's like this person don't want they don't want you, but they don't want nobody else to have you. And you're manifesting exactly what you want, okay? Yeah. And what you want is the ten of cups for somebody. You want her font, okay? This person watches you though. It's like this person is mad. It's like they're mad. They're mad that you got away or they're mad that you don't want them no more. They're mad that you don't care anymore. Hmm. But you're doing really good, Virgo. Your energy looks really good. You're focusing on yourself. You ain't talking to nobody. You ain't got much to say to nobody. It's like you're doing a lot of waiting, though. It's like you're waiting because you know it's coming. Yeah, you're manifesting it. You know what's coming. You know like you know like you know that what you want is coming towards you. And this stuck-ass energy that you was once in that broke your heart and disappointed you that you've known for a very long time, you about to leave this person in the dust. This is why they're spying on you, okay? It could be an age difference, okay? Mm -hmm. You might have cussed this person out more times than you care to admit. You just don't get along with them. You tried and tried and tried again because you've known them for a long time. But this person keeps sabotaging shit. And then they come and watch you. But they watch you do well without them. Okay? You manifest every any and everything that you want. You bring forth it. Okay? Very intuitive. You guys are very spiritually gifted. What you think about, you bring about. Whatever you want, you get. Okay? Yeah. This is why you got it going on. And you don't mind waiting. You don't mind being single. You don't mind. Because you're not the type of energy that's going to settle for anything. Okay? You're not. You're not going to settle for anything. You wanted this 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 toxic relationship. You did want that because you did take that for a very long time. Okay? But you couldn't take the heartbreak, the disappointment. That was enough for you. That was too much for you or something like that. This person is getting a great deal of karma with it too. But they're not coming to apologize. They're coming because they're still kind of like... They, they want things the same. This person is not apologetic, okay? This person wants things the same. This person has an attitude like, who are you? Who are you to move on without me? Who are you to go and do better without me? Very cocky energy. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. And they watch you silently from afar. But they're very toxic and very cocky. You've known them for a very long time. You know who this is. You've known them for a very long time, okay? And all they did was hurt you. Over and over and over again. Lots of disappointment. Lots of heartbreak. Okay. And they wanted you to continue to take this. All right. Yeah. You, you got a return of a lover. This is Six of Cups. This is somebody you've known for a very long time. This person keeps coming back. Okay. With the devil energy. Who the fuck wants to, who wants to be with his ugly looking ass? Okay. 
or her funny looking ass. You know, this is too much. This is somebody who only wants to come in to cause more havoc, more disappointment. Okay? And they're catching a hell of a lot of karma behind what they did to you. Okay? But they're not coming with an apology. This person is very stubborn. Okay? Very cocky. Very arrogant. Okay? They want to blame you for it. Like you did something to them. Whew. Virgo, you're manifesting exactly what you want. Don't pay these day. Don't pay this damn energy any mind. Okay? Yeah. You might have outgrown this person. This could have been somebody that you've known since y'all were children. Okay? You might have outgrown this person. You're manifesting exactly what you want. And what you want is a full-blown commitment. You want somebody that's in it to win it. You want somebody that wants you. You want to find an energy that wants you just as bad as you want them. Looks like it's coming in for you or you already found it. Okay? Looks like you're moving away from this toxic ass relationship. Okay? This person wants things to stay just the same with you. They want to keep breaking your heart. They want you to keep tolerating their fuck shit. Uh-huh. Who are you to get strong and start manifesting a different outcome without them? Okay? All right? Who are you to stop talking to them and stay to yourself and wait for the right offer? Okay? This person thinks they're better than you. This person might try to belittle you and talk down to you or something like that, Virgo. Huh. This person could be extremely copy, cocky. All right? This person might think that they're the catch. Okay? You should be happy to have them. Be very, very careful about this very cocky-ass energy. They're coming through very toxic, very unhealthy. Okay? Let's pull some clarifiers and see what else we can get. Mm. You about to have a surprise for this little cocky ass energy. Uh-huh. They watching you too. They keep tabs on you. But they're not coming to apologize. They're not coming to make things better. Mm -mm. They want you to keep tolerating their shit. And who are you to move on with somebody else? Who are you to want somebody else? You should have been glad you had me. This person might feel they're extremely attractive. This person might be wealthy. Okay. This person might think they got it going on. Okay. Mm-hmm. They might try to compare themselves with you, too. All right? Twin flame energy, too. All right? Some of you might have thought this was a twin. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And some of you are saying, twin flame be damned. I don't care if it is a twin. I don't like the energy. This person don't treat me right. They talk to me like I'm not shit. This person steals from me. This person ghosts me. This person lies to me. This person gaslights me. This person might do a whole lot of toxic ass unhealthy shit with that devil energy, okay? We also got obsessions and addictions. This person could have addictions, drink a lot, smoke a lot, gamble a lot. This person might need to go to rehab, okay? This person might have been trying to take you to the gutter. You might have been told a long time ago to leave this person alone. Okay? But you saw the best in them. Yeah, you're whole. You're happy. You're in a whole new different energy. Okay? Yeah. You're not being bothered with this person's energy anymore. You don't reach out to this person. You're not talking to this person. You have moved on. Okay? This is somebody that you really wanted to be with at one time. You've known them for a very long time, but they kept hurting you. They kept breaking your heart. They kept hurting you and hurting you and hurting you. Okay? They was just there for the sex or something like that. Okay? You felt this person was emotionally unavailable. Uh -huh. They couldn't tell you nothing. They couldn't do nothing. They, they wouldn't do nothing. They wouldn't tell you nothing. You might have felt this person was emotionless. Okay? Ah, we do have an apology coming in, and it's a sincere one, okay? I didn't fill it with the tarot, but with the clarifiers, this person does want to come in and apologize to you, okay? Yeah, this person's getting scared. They think they're about to lose you altogether, okay? But this person's very toxic, very unhealthy. Uh-huh. Yeah, this person got some shit going on with them, all right? And you're like, oh, hell no, you ain't bringing that shit to me, whatever it is, okay? Spirit come through. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, we got cheating and deception. This person might be a huge liar. Okay, this person might have tried to play you. You might have caught this person cheating. Okay, you might be very triggered when it comes to this person too. Yeah, the, the mere thought of their name, the mere thought of seeing them, you get anxiety. Okay, this person is coming to some sort of realization about this connection with you. Okay, they're really coming to a connection that you, you don't want to be bothered with them anymore. You're tired. You might have left this person. You might have broke up with them. Okay. Mm -hmm. You might have ended it with them. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They want to spend some time with you. They want some quality time. This person is going to try to reel you back in. Okay. Yep. Romance and affection. 
Yeah, this person wants you back. And you might be totally fed up with this person, totally tired of this person. The same shit every day, same shit, different day type thing. This person keeps doing the same bullshit. You forgive them, you take them back. It's like some sort of miracle round. You go round and around with this person over and over again. And this person don't show you nothing different. This person is also hurting. Okay, this person might got some problems that they don't tell you about, that, that you don't know about or something like that. Uh-huh. This person got some issues, okay? Yeah. This person is suffering in silence. There's some shit about themselves that they don't tell you about. There's something deep, too. Mm-hmm. This person might have been a runner. They might have always been running from you. Okay? Now that you stop chasing them, here they come. <laughs> yeah. Now they want a commitment. <laughs> Now they want to be committed to you, okay? Uh huh. Now that you don't have their attention, they don't have your attention like they once did, okay? Now here they come. Mm hmm. Now they want to know what can I do to fix this? Lordly, lordly. Some of you are really sick of this person. You have already moved on, or you are planning on moving on, okay? You have met other people. You just don't feel the same about this person. You look at this person as the devil. You say you're unhealthy, you're toxic. I don't want nothing to do with your ass no more. Spirit come through. This person could be losing weight, stressing out over you. Okay. They mad because you're not talking to them. Yeah, because you definitely stopped that communication with that hermit. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. We got divinely guided. You have met your divine flame. Just follow the signs to your soul and everything will occur in divine time. And again, like I said, this could be some sort of twin flame connection that you had with this person or that you thought it was anyway. But it just didn't go anywhere. This person just kept hurting you more than loving you. Just breaking your heart more than making you happy. Okay. Some of you was crying more than you were happy when it came to this person. Okay, we got hopeful. Okay, they are opening themselves to love, allowing themselves to dream and plan because you give their you give their life meaning. This person is still hopeful that you will take them back. Okay, because they feel that you did love them or that you still love them. They just gotta, you know, they gotta make you realize that you still love them or something like that. Okay, you know, some of you not letting this person nowhere near you. Okay, we got divine intervention. They are experiencing many tower moments in their life. Where it's helped them gain clarity on this connection, okay? They're not having, it's not good where, they, where they're at. They're not going, they're not having a good time. They're not having some good moments. Uh-uh. Karma is hitting them hard, okay? This is somebody who tried to use you. Uh-huh. Who tried to play you, okay? And for some of you, this was just a fuck buddy in their eyes, okay? You wanted more. They just wanted more sex, yeah, we got plotting too. They're stepping up their game to get your attention because they know that you have plenty other options, okay? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. This person is refusing to let you go. Uh-uh. They don't want to let you go. They don't want to do right by you, but they don't want to let you go neither. This, this person is very immature, childish. They need to grow up, okay? Mm-hmm. We got passion ignited. Their intense sexual desires towards you is making it hard for them to know the difference between love and lust. This is somebody who really don't want to. They really don't want to love you, but they do. Okay? They really didn't want this with you. Hmm. They really didn't want this with you for whatever reason. Okay? Maybe this is a person that's very non-committal. Okay, maybe this person don't know how to show affection. Okay. Mm hmm They're watching the shit out of you. Know this. Okay. Okay, they've been watching your social media to see what you post. Okay, and to get clues to know how to approach you. If you guys are not on social media, you say, I don't know what the hell they're watching. They're watching you. Yes, they is. Okay. Justice card coming out for you again. Okay. They're trying to do the right thing by offering you something more solid and giving it careful consideration. Like I said, justice is kicking their ass. Nothing is going right for them. Everything they touch turn to shit. Okay. They're not having any luck. Okay. They're not having any luck. You did a lot for this person. 
and this person took total advantage of you with that okay they took took you for granted but something is brewing we got brewing up be ready to expect the unexpected because something is brewing and it's gaining momentum okay mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yeah you were there for this person in more ways than you care to admit you helped this person in more ways than you care to admit okay this person took advantage of you took advantage of your kindness all right this person took more than what they gave okay they took 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 okay and gave nothing now that you're tired now that you're tired of being you know played or taken advantage of now that you have put a stop to that and you're moving on or you have moved on you got this person's attention okay we have a message they want to message you and explain everything to you but they know that you have that they have to do right by you okay yeah they know that you're not going to fall for the okie doke anymore okay you have heard them out more times than you care to admit. You have gave them more chances, and they keep doing the same shit. It's like they know nothing else. Okay? This is like all they know or some shit. Losing battle. You are fighting a losing battle against your opposition. Don't downgrade yourself. Play at your level, not theirs. This is what you have learned to do. Okay? You're taking back your power. You're doing it your way. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You're doing it your way. You love this person. You like this person. You know this person love you. You know this person like you, but it was just unhealthy or something. It, you just didn't like the way this person made you feel. You didn't like what you saw when you looked in the mirror or something like that. You couldn't live with you couldn't uh, live what this person was trying to do to you or something. Yeah, it didn't sit well in your spirit. You got permanent mark. You left a permanent mark on my heart that can't be erased even if they tried. You will always be remembered. Yeah. Mhm. Mm this person thought they could do you like they did to others. You were something totally different, honey. You was just trying to be there for this person. Mysterious one, yeah. The mystery of you intrigues them. You keep them guessing and engaged. Very different from the rest. Boom. I was just about to say you are unlike no other. <laughs> Car said it for me, baby. There you go. Yeah, you're totally different from what this person was used to. Now this person is mad that you don't want them no more. This person is mad that you have moved on. Or at the very least, they're mad they can't pull the wool over your eyes anymore. They can't bullshit you no more. You done woke up. You done snapped out of it. Kudos to you, Virgo. Uh -huh. We got grieving. Okay, they're stuck in grief, unable to see that they still have the power to create a positive change. Okay? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this person has to do right by you. It's like they owe you something or something like that. Mm -hmm. Toxicity. Okay, their toxic friendships are creating distance between you two and preventing them from seeing the purity of your soul. Hmm. This person is just very toxic, okay? They might be around a lot of toxic people, uh, family, relatives. If they're seeing somebody else, that person might be very toxic, very unhealthy, okay? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, yeah. You try to give this person peace, comfort, and this person took your kindness for a weakness. You try to show them something different, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Spirit, come through. Can I have some more messages, please? Can I have some more me messages for Virgo? Friendship. Mm -hmm. I'm more comfortable being friends than just lovers. Okay, this person just wanted a friendship with you. All right, you wanted more. Okay, you saw this person wasn't giving you no more than what than a friendship, and you said, okay, bye bye. Yeah, you thought you could change their mind or something like that. This is going to be your choice if you uh, want to take this person back because this person is going to fight for your attention. Yeah, they're not ready to give you up. Mm -mm. They, they never expected you to get the strength and walk away from them or cut them off or something like that. Yeah, some of you work with this person. Okay. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I've been keeping myself busy with work to improve my and improve my finances okay dying love yeah you don't feel the same about this person okay you want to love this person i was trying to remain hopeful but i feel that you're slipping away mm -hmm. yeah you don't love this person this person is up at night late nights thinking about that they're thinking about how they once had you okay now they're telling you this this was un unintentional i never meant to hurt you i'm not who you think i am this person wants to change your mind about them okay yeah those of you keep them up at night even if they fall asleep, they think about you. Yeah. Lordly, lordly. You done made this person fall in love. Now they see this as true love. Okay. They never act like it, though. They never showed you true love until you walked away. 
Okay, many of you are going to walk away and this person is going to throw a tantrum. Okay, this person is going to throw a tantrum. All right, here they go. Yeah, we got erased. I deleted everything that reminded me of you. Some of you have completely moved on. Okay, you're just done with this energy. Okay, you're going to hear from this person if you already haven't heard from this person. Okay, and, and it's kind of like a turn off for you because all they bring in is more of the same. Okay, yeah, make them prove it. Make them prove it. Okay, because what y'all see is more of the same. More of the same behavior, more of the same talk, more of the same, you know, it's like a merry-go-round. It's, like you can, you can, it's like you can pinpoint what this person is going to say. This person is going to come over Saturday around 4 o'clock and they're going to say this. They're going to do that. They're going to stay until Monday around 6 o'clock and then they're going to disappear again for two weeks. Then they're going to come back on another Saturday around 4 o'clock. It's like you can pinpoint this person's actions, this move, you know, everything they're going to do. And it's just a turnoff for you. Like, uh-uh, this is more the fucking same. Uh-uh, I know what they're going to say before they say it. I know what they're going to do before they do it. This person tries to act clueless like they don't know why you're mad. Okay? Uh-huh, they don't know. Yeah. But this is haunting them. They do know. Okay? I'm haunted by my, my decisions and my memories that we made together. This person can't get over you. Okay, yeah, they want some sort of reconciliation with you. Okay, yeah, I'm working on the courage to ask you out on a date. This person is ready to come full force towards you now, okay? They're going to try to raise the bar. They're going to try to antsy up their actions or their behaviors. Be very careful because if you take this person back, they're going to get comfortable and they're going to go right back to the same old action, okay? Uh huh. You want something different, you have to do something different. And this is what you guys are doing. You're doing something different. And you got this person's attention now. Uh huh. Yeah. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. You got their attention now. Lordly, lordly. This person is uh, talking to their friends about you. I've been asking my friends advice about this relationship. Yeah, this person is in their head. They're really upset about what's going on between the two of you. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Yeah. They feel that you are on a rebound. Okay, I just need someone to help me get over the pain of losing you. They feel that you just went on a rebound, that you're just seeing somebody else because you was trying to get over the pain of not being with them or losing them. They don't know that you did that by yourself. You're just tired. This person that's coming in for you or this new person that's coming in for you is going to be totally different. Okay, it's going to show more interest. Uh huh. This person is not going to take advantage of it. This person is not going to do all the taking. This person is going to do some giving too. Uh -huh. Yeah, they're not going to take this well either. They are not going to take this well. Spirit come through. They're not going to take this well. This person is going to lose their mind over this one. Because you don't want them no more. They feel that you stop loving them. You stop money. You don't call them. You stop calling them. You stop reaching out to them. You stop chasing them. When they do come over, you're cold. You're distant. You're just not the same. And they can feel it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there we go. Hot and cold. Mixed signals. On and off. Mind games. You said, uh-uh. That shit is for the birds. You can have that shit. Okay, we got confusion. Conflicted. Tricky situation. Hard to figure out. Uh-huh. That's the energy that you're giving this person now. Okay, they can't figure you out. This person thought they had you wrapped around their finger. They thought you were so in love that you would keep tolerating their, their smug ass. But you, yeah, you turned that shit around. Past life connection, ex old friends, past life influence, soul contract. Very familiar energy. You've known you you know that you've known this person for many lifetimes. Okay. You know you know this person with that Six of Cups. Very familiar energy. Mm -hmm. We got breakthrough, inner transformation, ego, death, spiritual awakening. You the gay, this person, an ego, death. Yeah, you're definitely something totally different. You did something different to this person that nobody has ever done. Okay? You killed that ego. This person had a lot of pride and ego. Mm -hmm. Victory, success, trophy partner, jetpack winning, wanting to conquer. Okay, this person wanted to win at all costs. This person hates to lose. Okay, mm -hmm. they're used to winning, they're used to getting what they want, very spoiled, very cocky, okay, some of them can be very childish, throw tantrums, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. but they're going to learn how to treat you, okay, we got the leap of faith, risk and excitement, unpredictable, embracing the unknown, okay, they're going to learn how to treat you, mm -hmm. they had to learn, this was that gut punch you had for them. 
Mm -hmm. Okay, stress, mistakes, uncomfortable, taking responsibility. It looks like they're going to take responsibility because they know they didn't do right by you. Okay, they know they told you nothing. They know they that you gave them way more than what they gave. Okay. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we got closeness, intimacy, belonging, mutual feelings. Okay. This person is not going to let this new person get too close to you. They're going to try to interfere. Okay. Mm-hmm. We got clinging, desperation, infatuation, obsessing, completely hooked, holding on too tightly. This person is not going to let you go. Mm -mm. They don't know how they're going to hold on to you, but they don't want to let you go. But they don't know how they're going to hold on to you because they know they didn't do right by you. They understand. They don't want it, but they understand why you say it's shit. I'm out of this. Yep, career focus, career over love, finances, goals, love in the workplace. Some of you may work with this person, okay? Some of you have chose your career over love. You're like, uh-uh, I got to secure my bag. Fuck love. You say, love, keep letting me down. I don't want that shit. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yep, we got fantasy, fairy tale, illusions, not real, fake, deception, lies. Yep, you don't trust this person. Mm-mm. Nope, you feel this person keeps letting you down. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we also have conflict, arguments, opposition, power struggle. Okay? Mm-hmm. Yeah, this person will give you, this person will give you that fairy tale or that fantasy uh, for a little while, okay? And, and once you, you feel like, okay, this person is going to do right by me now, and, and they feel things are back to normal, they go right back to their fuck shit, okay? They, got, they go right back to this conflict. They go right back to this power struggle. Who wants to be in charge? Who's going to listen to who? And who's going to do as I say? Yeah, we also got under spell, manifesting, and the works, energies are aligned, okay? Mm -hmm. You guys are definitely manifesting what you want, Virgo. You're definitely in the energy of manifesting. You're pulling in exactly what you want want okay this person right here is catching it we got burn bridge no coming back trust is gone it's too late you just don't trust the person okay you feel if you let this person back in your life it's going to be more the same and that's just you just don't see that happening that's not what you want that's not how you feel mm -hmm, mm -hmm. as much as you want to trust this person it's like you can't Okay, it's like you can't. Uh huh. You feel they're too toxic. Okay. And you guys, some of you have manifested in some real love, or or you that's what's coming towards you. Some of you are moving. You said I got to get out of this. I got to get far away from this. Uh huh. Uh -huh. Yeah, I can't make this shit up. Okay, for some of you, this is your twin. Okay. This is a twin. Mm hmm. But this twin is, you guys are just not coming into union because somebody's not, there's no balance here. Somebody's not learning their lesson. You haven't learned yours or something like that. It's just no, there's no union because there's no balance. There's no harmony. Okay. Mirror soul, intense connection, spiritual awakening, unconditional love, challenging growth, reunion, divine time and reflection, healing, internal bond, harmonization. Yeah, you guys got to come in harmony. All right. This is some sort of twin flame connection. That twin flame that came up about two, three times. Okay, this is your twin. This is somebody that you got some sort of sacred connection with. Twin flame, divine feminine, or something like that. Okay? Yeah, you do feel something for this person. That's for sure. All right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, we got take the take the leap. Okay, looks like you're ready to take a leap. New beginnings. Yeah, you definitely, this that fool energy. You're ready to just start a new beginning. You want something different. Visionary leap, hope, trust, courage, risk-taking, belief, adventure. You want something different. You're tired of wanting this person. You're tired of being stuck in this energy. you like, good Lord, there got to be something out there better for me. But this divine masculine keep coming through, okay? This divine masculine keeps coming through. Is this some sort of twin flame connection for you guys? Okay, Virgo? Yeah, this person's energy is very strong. It's like they don't want to let you go. This person could be very selfish. They don't want you. They don't want nobody else to have it. They don't want to do right by you. And they don't want nobody else to do right by you. What kind of shit is that? Okay, it's some sort of red flag here too. Warning signs. Okay, alarm bells. Cautionary signal. Danger indicator. You already know that this person is just not healthy for you. 
Okay, Twin Flame be damn. Okay, you already know. Okay, we also have Money Magnet, Financial Success, Financial Freedom, Financial Empowerment, Money Moves Wealthy. Okay, it's just something about this energy with this person. Okay, you want to believe that they want to love you. You want to believe that they want to be there with you. But it's something gnawing at you. It's, and it's their past behavior. It's their past behavior because you don't see no change in it. Okay. This person talks a good gab. Gab. They got a gift of gab. But you see that it's just more of the same. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. We also got thief in the night. Sticky fingers. Fraud. Heist. Steal. Robbery. Swindle. Sneaky. Lord. Larceny. Lord. Lee. Lord. Lee. Mm -hmm. Okay. Some of you just don't trust this person. Okay. This person could be a thief. This person could have stolen something from you. Mm -hmm. This person could be a fraud. <laughs> we got fall from grace. This damn person that fall from grace. Okay, this person could have been on a this person could have been like somebody that you put on a pillow on a pedestal at one time. This is could have been this could have been somebody that you uh, viewed in high regard, okay? This person then fell hard. You don't even look at this person the same. Okay? They literally fell from grace. This could have been somebody you had a great deal of respect for at one time. Uh-huh. You put them in high regard. Yeah. This person is pretty much demoted in your eyes, okay? Yeah, they didn't burn their bridges with you. They didn't did something to you. Okay? Betrayed you, backstabbed you, lied to you, cheated on you. They lost something with you. Okay? And you too busy achieving shit. Okay? We got success, goals, victory. You feel this person holding you back. Uh-huh. You don't want this person no more. You think this person going to take you to the gutter. Because of their thief of the knife energy. Because of the red flags you keep getting. Okay? Because of the fall from grace that you have witnessed with them. Okay? You're like, uh-uh, dude, no. We got unlocked doors, opportunity, welcome, access. See, a door's been opening up for you. You got achievements. Since you have walked away from this energy, since you're not talking to this energy, since you're thinking about leaving this energy, your whole world has changed, okay? You you had the, uh, at the bottom of the deck, you had that wheel of fortune. Yes, I see this good energy coming in for you, okay? Things are, like, improving for you. This is why you're in a really good place now. This is why you had that sun, okay? You, you, you're you making plans. Some of you have been very quiet. You've been in that hermit energy for real. You know, when a Virgo is quiet, look out. They're coming up with something, yep. Divine feminine energy, yep. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Empowerment, emotions, healing, connection, creativity. Uh-huh, wisdom. Very intuitive energy. Yeah, you're coming up with a game plan, okay? And your game plan is about to kick ass, okay? Well, it already has. Well, it already has. Well, it already has. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yep, you're a fighter. Yeah. I don't know why this person tried to play with you. Okay? This person took your kindness for a weakness. They thought you was timid. Okay? But you're really a fighter. Uh-huh. You're very, you're very resilient. Uh-huh. You can handle any battle. You fight back. Ooh, individuality. Yep. Uniqueness. Authentic. Authenticacy. Okay. Self-expression. Diversity. Personal style. Independence. You, you you stand out alone. You're not like the rest. You're cut totally different from the from what this person was used to. This person really thought that... I don't know where this cockiness coming from from this energy. This is some, I don't know, maybe you showed this person too much too soon, how much you loved them, how much you cared, and this person took advantage of your kindness, okay? They did. They did a number on you, too, but you pulled back your energy, honey. You a fighter. <laughs> you stand alone. You say, uh-uh, you don't know my, you don't know who I am, but let me show you. This person had hurt your feelings. They did a lot of betraying, backstabbing energy to you, okay? And you said enough is enough, too much is good for nothing. You're done. You're done. You have already moved on, or you're about to move on, and this person is not taking it well at all. Uh-uh. Yep. They're not. Mm-mm. But here's the thing. They want to come and apologize, but they're still in that devil energy. Which means cocky, you know, arrogant. They don't really see 
where they made a mistake at or or they don't really see why they why you're mad at them or why they why why they wronged you they really don't see that they're only going to apologize because they feel you know i gotta get them back i gotta do what i gotta do to get them back they want you back virgo here they come all right talk to you soon i shake